Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share the information in this video with you because it is a tretinoin secret that I wish I had known when I started my tretinoin journey, my skin improvement journey when I came onto YouTube. Now it's been seven years ago, but I do have before and after pictures of my tretinoin use over the first six years. Here I am in June of 2017 in the before picture and there I am six years later in June of 2023, about a year ago. And as you can see in the before picture, my skin looks very ruddy. It has a lot of discolorations, especially on my forehead. My pores are very large, especially around the nose and in the 11 area. And then in the after picture, my pores look smaller all over my face and actually my skin just looks more even toned all over. And the thing that I really appreciate about my tretinoin journey is that I think my skin has really firmed up and I think you can see that in the before and after pictures. In the before picture, as you can tell, my skin just looks kind of what I call flubby. It doesn't have a lot of good tone, but in the after picture, my skin just looks firmer, more well toned, more defined. I really think a lot of that can be attributed to my tretinoin journey. And I will say in that picture, the before and the after on the eyes were not tretinoin because I did have a blepharoplasty, but in all that time I had no procedures of any type, used a little bit of Botox up here, but I was using Botox in the before picture too. I've done nothing to my skin, except I do use some devices but overall, I think my tretinoin use, and I do use the 0.5% strength, has really improved my skin. Now, in the comment section, I hope you'll let me know real quick, do you use tretinoin and what strength do you use? Or have you not been able to use tretinoin? What do you use instead? Because I'm really curious about this because I think a lot of women have started on the tretin A journey and have given up because of the peeling. Even sometimes now I'll get ongoing peeling at different points with the tretinoin. And here's a look at the peeling and there it is. What happens around the mouth is truly terrible. You can look like you're wearing a beard and just the overall irritation and redness of your skin when you're starting your tretinoin journey, it's just not easy at all. But recently I learned about a study. I heard of a study which is absolutely phenomenal. The implication has always been that the higher strength of tretinoin you use, the better your skin will be. And in fact, Angie of Hot and Flashy, she uses even greater than 1% strength. And I always saw her at the 1% and greater strength. And I thought, oh, I really need to get up from the 5% that I was using. You know, the 5%, you know, does a good job on my skin, but the 1% would be better. But as it turns out, that is not true at all. It really doesn't matter which percent strength you use of the tretinoin. After a certain amount of time, everyone that uses tretinoin looks about the same in terms of skin improvements. And the study is a dermatology study reported in PubMed, and it's entitled, Two Concentrations of Tropical Tretinoin Cause Similar Improvement of Photoaging, But Different Degrees of Irritation. A double-blind vehicle-controlled comparison of 0.1% and 0.025% tretinoin creams. And in the background and design of the study, you can see that it covered 99 patients for 48 weeks. Half of those patients used 0.025% strength tretinoin, and the other half used the 1% strength of tretinoin. And let me just go ahead and read you the results of the study because it'll be helpful in explaining it a little more closely. It says results, both 1% and 0.025% tretinoin produce statistically significant overall improvement in photoaging of the face, sun damage of the face. They both produce the same level of improvement. There were no clinically or statistically significant differences in effectiveness between the two concentrations of tretinoin. 1% and 0.025% tretinoin produce similar statistically significant epidermal thickening. In other words, the facial skin got thicker in both groups compared with vehicle and increased vascularity compared with vehicle. And that means that the small blood vessels of the face increased in their vascularity. So that was bringing good, healthy nutrients to the skin. You're getting that tretinoin glow that they call it. In other words, your skin looks firmer, younger, that kind of thing. And it definitely loses the sun damage in both groups in exactly the same proportions. And it goes on to say that tretinoin 1% and 0.025% produce similar clinical changes in patients with sun damaged skin. 
despite significantly greater incidence of irritation with the higher concentrations. And the study really implies that although we think that it is the peeling of the skin, peeling off the old layers that is producing the positive results, the study really disagrees with that because there is a lot less peeling in the 0.25% strength than in the 1% strength. It's markedly more irritation and peeling in the 1% strength. And so basically, regardless of the strength of tretinoin that you use at the end of 48 weeks, your skin will look just as good as someone who used a higher strength. Well, I think this is wonderful news for all of us, especially for those of you who gave up on using tretinoin years ago due to the irritation and the peeling. What I would do if I were you, if you'd like to try it out again, is go to your doctor and ask him for a generic tretinoin of the 0.25% strength and again, start it slowly. You might get some irritation for sure, but you'll get a lot less irritation with this than you would the higher strengths of tretinoin. Well, that's the end of my video. And again, please let me know what you do for your skin in the comments section below the video. If you use tretinoin, if you don't, what strength you use, that kind of thing. And if you could also share any tips you have about using tretinoin, that would be great because that way we can help each other and that's always wonderful. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.